Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about prototype development. So you've gotten all the way through the design phase, you've gotten through engineering, now you're in prototyping. So this is really fun. This is where you get to actually look, feel, see your product for the first time. It's not just on a computer screen or on a sketch on a piece of paper. So when designing your prototypes, your prototypes are only going to be as good as your CAD files. And your CAD files are only going to be as good as your engineering. Your engineering is only going to be as good as your design. So you see how this kind of compounds and builds up. So it's really important to work with someone who can do all the phases of the process with you. So I use Focus Product Design. They do, uh, first they do design. So they start with your ideation and your design work. They have electrical, mechanical, and industrial engineers. They have an in-house prototyping studio. And they actually do manufacturing too. So once you're done with prototyping, your product's ready for manufacture. They have American oversight on the ground and they do all your logistics, shipping, everything for you. So get back to prototyping. Our first prototype here um, came out really well and we thought we were really happy with it and some of our partners and our investors were looking at it and said, eh, you know, it's kind of like everything else on the market. Like, it's pretty small, it's kind of hard to hold, you know, it's not much bigger and this is for a GoPro camera so, you know, you can only get it as far as your arm so we were looking at some of the things we could change. So we sat back down with our designers and we came up with a product that is completely different than what our first one was. It still holds a GoPro camera. It's roughly the same size. The hand grip's slightly larger, and this one actually floats. So it enables your camera to actually float to the surface if you drop it. So now it doesn't sink to the bottom and it's gone forever. So this enabled us to see, because of the prototyping that we did and the 3D prints that we had, that what looked good on the computer screen didn't actually function as great as we had hoped it would. So actually feeling your prototype out actually holding it is going to help you design the rest of your products very well and very important to do before you go into manufacturing. So tooling changes typically cost start at $5,000 and go all the way up from there. Um, I think the most expensive tooling change I've ever done was about $10,000. So really important when you're working with a, a $50,000, $70,000 tool to make sure that it's done right the first time. So definitely prototype your products. Make sure you do the look, feel, functionality testing and see how your product actually handles. If you want more information on the product design firm that we use that helped us with all our prototyping, visit focuspdm.com, and I'll post a link right here below this video so you can go straight to their website and get more information from them. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you learned something.